and Maxi. <laughs> Just like, give me, give me, give me. So this game we call place games. The reason I say place is when you're out and about, this is when you're going to use it, when you're out and about, you're going to say place to the dog. It has other names, boundary games, um, bed, you name it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get her to have rewards on the bed. So she's going to learn the only place she gets a reward is on her bed or on the place. At the moment it doesn't have a command, she's keeping two feet on so she can stay, um, so she can have a reward. But it might be that your dog finds this so tricky to begin with that you reward them for looking at the bed or, oh bless her, so she's offering me behaviours. You might reward them for looking towards the bed or coming towards the bed or, <laughs> or um, looking at it, but hopefully getting on it. At the moment she's a bit stuck, so we'll just wait. So I don't really care what she's doing on the bed, but I do want her to stay on the bed. And I'm going to feed the bed and all the food is rolling towards wherever her feet are, <laughs> just to make it awkward for her. I'm going to reward the bed, not her. There's a number of reasons for that. Um, you don't want the dog to be um, waiting for the hand to come in to reward them on the mouth, you don't want them to, to follow the hand, you don't want them to chase the hand, you want them to understand that the food will be delivered on the bed. Um, sometimes if you feed a dog directly into their mouth, it can become over, over stimulated, over aroused. So this just helps with that. Plus, we're gonna do a few other little games on here. We're gonna do some impulse control eventually and so we just want them to know that the food will come on the bed. So I've added some importance to the bed, but we'll start to see if we can ask for a little bit more behavior. So she stepped off, so I'm gonna wait, good. So she put one paw off and I waited. She didn't get the treats, now offering a down, so we're gonna feed that a lot, because we like it. We haven't asked for it, but we like it. So we're going to offer that a lot. Sorry, feed that a lot. Good. So she's starting to test herself a little bit. She's nice. Good girl. So have multiple treats in your hand. You don't want them following your treat hand or your treat pouch. Be ready to reward. So I'm just going to wait. Good. So she controlled herself then which is an amazing thing for Maxie because she, she is pretty full on. So she sort of wanted to jump off and she stopped herself. So I rewarded, yes. You can start to mark behavior you like, yes. Yes, starting to ask for a bit of duration. Might be too early for some of your dogs to ask for duration yet. So feed, feed, feed. One thing that's really important is that there must never be any negatives on this bed. It must never, it must be a place of amazing, where amazing things happen. No scolding, no telling off, no sort of dragging them back to the bed if they don't get it, or if they've reached process capacity and they just can't think any longer. If that happens, just take them away. Just end the exercise. This must be, we're literally filling up the positivity bank on this bed. So I might start saying place, because that's going to be my word for it. So place, whether it be 
someone knocking on the door at home place whether it be at the pub whether it be out and about and someone wants to chat or i need to load the car or unload the car or i'm sat outside the cafe having a cup of coffee and a slice of cake place i'm gonna say to her place and she's going to understand in the fullness of time that that means place to sit calmly and relax so she's quite a high wire dog place good and i'm going to start looking for good karma behavior because she's very high wired highly wired highly strung aren't you so she's getting herself wound up yes so as soon as i see some calmness yes i'm going to reward because this i want this to be yes a calming place for her to be i want her to know and again this comes with training and repetition that I want this to be a place where when I ask her to do it it's calm it's it's a calm thing to do it's a calm place to be yes so you saw once I'd loaded my hand up that time yes she took herself back to the bed yes yes so this is probably the calmest I've ever seen Maxie she is still uh -uh. Yes, good. I gave her two or three bits that time because she corrected herself. So, yeah, so this is a place I want Maxie to know or a position or a command where I want Maxie to know that it's a good place to be, watch the world go by, and that's what we're going to teach her. So I'm going to see now whether I can move away. Obviously, me moving my hand to the treat pouch is, is a big distraction for her, so let's see if she can correct herself. She does, good, yes. Good girl. Uh -uh. Yes. So even just standing up is adding a layer of distraction to Maxie. Let's see if she can work through it. Might have been, might have been a step too far. Yes. So because the distraction was much higher, I'm now rewarding for a lower behaviour, if you like. Because me standing up was harder for her to control herself, when she did look back at the rug, she started to get rewards. And you can see we're now moving along quite nicely. So I think she'll probably start to offer me another behavior, perhaps an SIT or a DOWN. Oh, try not to let the treats bounce off. It's kind of counterproductive. That might have caused that. So let's see what she does. So she's looking at the treat hands to see what happens. Nothing's gonna happen. Yes, so she looked back at the rug. So she got a reward for looking back at the rug. Again, I created that, that distraction was, was too high for her. I was fiddling with the treat pockets. I wasn't ready. Offering me other behaviours that I don't want, so I'm not going to reward. So she gives me a lower behaviour. Yes, I'll reward. So I now know that I need to come back down here because she was doing quite well here. Place. Yes. yes, good. So she does have the attention span of a gnat. She is one of those dogs that you can teach her something one day and the next day it's as if you haven't taught her it. She's quite good for dog training and dog training videos. So I've gone back a few steps with the reward now. And it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. Yes. So the next thing I'm going to teach her is the re release command. I haven't thought about what command I'm going to use, so I think I'm going to use the word F-R-E-E. -E. Doesn't mean anything to her at the moment. So I'm going to say it. Free! And then throw the treat. There we go. I'm going to bring her back to place. Place. And get her to settle again. Good. 
So this is a lot of work for Maxi. She's, this is requiring a lot of concentration for her. This is a dog who, uh, when she came to us, had no boundaries whatsoever. And she, they were her early formative years. So she really has kept it good. I want to drop it on the floor. So we're getting some lovely calm behavior from, from Maxi now. Place. So I'm going to give her another release command. Free! Again, that word means nothing to her at the moment. Place. Place. Yes. Yes. Still not asking her for any behaviour on the rug, but she is offering other behaviour. Normally when she has to wait for a treat, she offers a, a different position. But I'm not asking for it yet. Uh, and I might not for a while, but of course, if you are sat at the pub, you might want it to be uh, a lay down uh, position. If you are doing something, you know, in the boot of the car or you need them to sit in the front garden calmly, you might want them to sit or lay down, but that's entirely up to you. But initially, we're just going to keep it nice and positive. And if she offers a behavior, then of course we're going to capture it if, it, if it's a behavior we want. So I'm going to give her the release command again. Free! Uh, and she twitched that time on free. So though she's only heard it three times, place. Uh, she's now already starting to associate it. So I say the word first before I move. Yes. Place. Place. Good girl. I'm going to give her the release command again. Free! Now we're now seeing her starting to rock it back to the bed. Place, good girl, place. Good. So she got rewarded for sort of become, sort of not quite getting on the rug, but coming back to it. And again, what you, you should find in the fullness of time is that she will be rocketing across the other side of the room, the uh, front garden, whatever, to go into that place position. Yes. So, definitely rewarding calm behaviour now. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. So, one more release command. Free! <laughs> She's like, no, I don't want to free. Free! Good girl. Face. Good girl. Place, yes, place, 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 place. place. So I'm not going to allow her to rob my, rob my hand. Yes, so a little bit of impulse control from there, from her there, and that's what we're going to start to introduce next. I'm just going to give her the free command. Free, good girl. Good girl, well done. You're clever. Yes, you're a clever girl. <laughs>